everyone. Welcome to Bid Nerd, your daily nerd out on the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. My name is John Polnick. We're recording in the Rummy Studio at the Container Park in downtown Las Vegas. And look who joined me in studio. Yeah. Michael Deeb is here. Welcome, Michael Deeb. Thanks for joining us. Dude, I love it here. The Rami Studio. Uh, this thing's this dreamy. Dreamy. I don't know, man. Your studio I'm back in, the, in San Francisco is pretty badass. I'm in the dungeon. Every time I look at my studio, I keep thinking somebody's going to say, bring out the gimp, you know? Mm, <laughs> it's pretty creepy I down there. I would watch for that. That uh, sounds like a <laughs> better show than this one. Uh, what do we do on this show? We talk about the most interesting car from, like, P car market, bring a trailer, cars and bids. We dig through them all. We find the most interesting thing. A lot of times people are like, oh, that was, there was a more expensive something or another, or there was a more rare thing. Well, you know, sometimes the most expensive, sometimes the most rare uh, isn't the most interesting. Today's car is definitely going to be a struggle. I think we're going to have people no. going, what the hell were we thinking? <laughs> but I think we can back up that this car is definitely uh, interesting at the very least. What do we got here, Michael? Do you JP, I am sensing a lot of resistance across the, uh, the uh, <laughs> studio here from you. I picked this car. Because in my mind, I wasn't here at the time. The uh, uh, you know, twenty twenty sent us back to San Francisco. I feel like a car like this started it all. That 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 the uh, the LeBron, the LeBaron, was the car that did it. I, I think you and Rami were talking, and Rami or Rochelle dared you guys to buy a car and wreck it, and you wound up finding like locally a similar car to this with a manual transmission. So when I saw this. 1989 Chrysler TC by Maserati. I thought this was like the gold standard of the car that started the whole thing that turned into this podcast. Uh, and so this car, believe it or not, I know you're going to hate this when I say this to you on public television or whatever. <laughs> this car reminds me of you. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, and, and what's better, John, this car is in Boulder City. <laughs> Did you catch oh my that? Gosh. This car is being offered by Viva Las Vegas Autos. Have you ever heard of those guys? I have not. Yeah, in here. Boulder wow. City, Nevada, uh, our car on Bring a Trailer has just 46,000 miles. It's a no reserve auction. And most of the TCs by Maserati that were, did you know they were assembled in Milan? They, they literally put those cars together in Italy and shipped them over here. What a flipping waste of money. Most of those cars were a normally aspirated 141 horsepower. Our car is equipped with the hard top and portal windows. Did you notice that? Um, the race line wheels, which I've never heard of, but but I, I imagine they're probably of an exotic material. Uh, this is a turbo, John. It's a 2.2 liter inline four with the turbocharger, meaning this bucket of bolts has 200 horsepower and 220 pound foot of torque, uh, which means you can race your mechanic to get repairs done. Um, anyway, it looks to be in, in stunning condition uh, for what it is. Um, God, can you imagine, John? This car is like 34 years old already. It's uh, it's mind boggling. Uh, but it reminds me of the LeBaron or the LeBron that started it all. I picked this car for you. I think we should buy it and uh, ride it off. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. We could go look at it. It closes in uh, less than 24 hours. But uh, JP, Come on, man. Did, tell me that doesn't give you memories of that car that you had. That you became friend. We became friends with the guy uh, out in L.A. that bought the car. You are now talking about the LeBron, which may have been the greatest car of all time. Absolutely. Uh, you can uh, let's see here. We'll put we'll bring up the LeBron. Yeah. Uh, you can see this episode on the Rami Show. Check out the Rami Show. Uh, yeah, we found that that car was here, uh, was here, was also <laughs> here. in Boulder City. <laughs> no way. What? Yeah, that's where I bought the car. Is it there a like, Chrysler dealer in Boulder uh, City uh, that we're not aware of? Like, apparently <laughs> that it's a thing to have these. Um, yeah, they're not manual good. too. It's yeah, manual. it was a manual that had like 50,000 original miles and we bought it to blow it up. You can see it on the video here. 48,000 miles in a manual. Come on, man. Uh, you know, and we got the car and it wound up being like we. I went to go get it for so two nice. grand and it was like way too nice. It was like, what, what the hell? <laughs> and then we uh, sold it to a fantastic guy uh, on Doug yeah, DeMiro's yeah, site, Doug right? DeMiro's site. And, yeah. and I, and it was like, everyone was laughing. Like you'll never get anything for that. We bought it for a couple grand. I think it sold for five, six or something five, like yeah, that. Or yeah, six, five, yeah. High sixes or high fives. And the guy who bought it loves it. Like, I mean, it was he like loves it. perfect. Scenario. It. So instead yeah. of blowing it up, you made somebody happy. Yeah. Uh, and now they're going for, I've seen them go for even 10 grand. Now, this is the Maserati version. It has more horsepower, blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> I mean, it's got a pointier nose and and tufted JP's uh, draped leather. What do we call that leather? Ball tufted sack leather. Ball sack ball leather, sack leather, leather that. Yeah. Uh, that uh, our friend Buddha says that he'll buy uh, racing seats, so we'll be friends with him because he thinks he thinks we don't like him, but because of his ball sack leather, and and that is that is nothing could be further. We love him and his ball sack leather. leather. <laughs> do not pause there. This one has the hard top. This reminds me. You know what? It's like so we do a show. We do a, a car show in downtown Las Vegas, actually in the Arts District. Uh, it's called Car Zoom Cafe. The last Sunday of the month, we were ever in Las Vegas. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Cars and Cafe. It's like, you know, it's a Porsche, classic Porsche. It's like a mini loop to cult, but it's open to all kinds of brand agnostic you know, Euro, you know, it, it's specific, mostly Euro classic stuff. Um, and one, one of the early shows, uh, you know, it's hard. Let's face it. <laughs> women don't show up to car shows. It, it's pretty, oh yeah. It's that, the argument. It's yeah. very you know, it's very hard to get the ladies to show up the car shows. That's one of the reasons why we do it in front of the Good Wolf Lifestyle Co. Because all the wives love coming because uh, they can go shopping and stuff like that. And we have coffee and we have all kinds of cool stuff. It's just a great time. Um, I think more ladies come to our car show than most car shows oh, in general. Oh, for sure. Um, but uh, this was early on in the show. Uh, and one of these, uh, uh, the, a Chrysler TC in like this kind of like bumblebee yellow showed up. Oh, wow. And this oh, I remember that. Yeah, and the girl, this pretty young lady, was driving it. Yeah, she wasn't there with her boyfriend. It yep. wasn't like someone that was her car. Yeah, and she was just sitting there. No one would talk to her. Yeah, I felt so bad. You know, so I was going over and talking to her. And you I know, believe I Mikey going. chatted her up. And, and finally, like I'm like, oh, you know, Mikey was single. I'm like, oh, is that, is that yeah. go talk. And he's like, yeah. huh, what? Boom! Right. It's yeah. like all these look women. If you're out there and you think the way to find a guy is to go to places where there aren't a lot of, a lot of other women you're going to find you're going to be able, you're not going to be competing with other women or something like that and somehow that's going to be don't go to car shows just don't bother <laughs> car guys are dorks they will be Nerds. like oh look at that hot there, but they won't come over and talk to you it's like it's like going to one of those uh what is it? The cosplay shows, the the, the, the comic cons, <laughs> yeah. and the hot chicks dress up in the super hot outfits, and the nerds will come running over. But they'll snap a picture, but they I'll run off. Yeah, oh. I had it, my, yeah. So, anyways, um, anyways, she drove one of these, and it was really I cool to see a, a chick driving. Something. She, she was, was a really stick. nice girl, by the way, she too. She was, yeah, uh, is, I, uh, is, yeah, yeah, super, super sweet. I know I she got rid of the car, um, but. Uh, all right, so what do we think this is going to be worth? JP, you know, come on, no, just tell me, though, like, the 1989 Chrysler Maserati. I mean, is this not Radwood gold? Like, oh, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Um, Chrysler's emblem is the Pentagon, and Maserati's is the Trident, and on the hood of this thing is the Trident in the Pentagon. I mean, when you look back at that relationship when when uh, Chrysler had bought part of Fiat and they were trying to share front-wheel drive platforms for SUV platforms, I mean, then this was a, a total non-starter. It didn't work out for either company in the end. Um, does this not just crack you up? It, it just signifies, you know, an era that, that just, you know, not so memorable, but worth remembering. So anyways, our car sitting at eight grand. It's on just five bids, which is terribly sad. I wonder if this car would do better on Doug DeMiro's site if Lee Patet took all the photos. <laughs> um, so shout out to our friend Lee who made uh, the LeBron look bitching uh this car looks decent in the photos it looks to be in really nice condition i'm betting with my heart and not my head here there's really no book on this but i'm gonna go 15 grand because it's a manual because it also has the hard top um, because it's the turbo if you were looking for one of these i don't i it, it, as long as we've been doing the show like the last two or three years that, that, that you you and rami bought that car you bought that car that we've been paying attention to the auctions like this, I can't remember seeing one this nice. So for those reasons, I'm gonna say 15 grand, but if it didn't get there, it wouldn't surprise me. There's there's no secondary market for these cars. Nobody cares. Uh, yeah, I mean, there there is a market for them. There is a, so a rabid group so of, of, yeah, but they don't pay anything. That was the thing. Right. I remember uh, there was a fellow locally, when I bought the LeBron, it had, the only thing wrong was that on the LeBarons, they had the little flip up thing that covered up the headlights. Um, oh, and uh, this doesn't have that. This doesn't have that. Yeah. And the later mo the later model LeBarons didn't have it either, but the earlier in this generation. Um, so there's a motor that goes out on those. It's really yeah. common, if you, apparently. Yeah. And I found someone locally that's in the club. He was like super happy to help me. He has three of them in his driveway. Oh, he, he 
gave you a motor. And he gave me the motor. Yeah. And, you know, I paid him. He helped me put it in and everything, but he wanted to give it to me. I'm like, no, here's money. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. But, but it was like, it was so, <laughs> it was so funny because this car was just like, he was so excited about that car and he yeah. so wanted to buy the car. And I'm like, Dude, make me an offer. Yeah, you know, you can it, have it. <laughs> you, I, I don't want this thing. Yeah. You know, it was a, we bought it for a joke. You know, I just want to make five hundred bucks off of it or something. Yeah. So you know, he hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed, and uh, I told him, "Well, it's going on this auction site." He's like, "What's that?" And I think he thought he was going to be able to steal it on the auction. And of course, you know, it wound up going. He was like, "Well, I think I'd give you three grand for it." I'm like, "You know, I would have taken that at the time, but yeah. the auction's live now. I'm not going to take it off the the auction." He's like, "Oh." And then, of course, it went for twice that. So, is his name Eric? No, because uh, Eric's the high bidder on this car. Yeah, I can't remember what his name was. Uh, I wonder Scott. if that guy is looking at this auction now. I, yeah. I, there's no way he could afford this one because uh, I'm. <laughs> look, that, that's the thing. These guys aren't going to spend more yeah. than two or three thousand dollars on anything. Oh my god, um, that's so funny. So this car will it make fifteen? You know, I know that uh, that yellow one. I happen to know that that one sold for ten. Yeah. Uh, and that was a couple of years ago when was, the market wasn't. Do you remember if that car had the turbo or not? Yes, it was a turbo. It was, a turbo. Yeah, it was, it was the same exact car. Yeah. Um, but it had the original wheels. I think it would have done well for the seller to have tracked down at least some LeBaron wheels. I mean, these these aftermarket, even though they're period correct wheels, they're just so hideous. I think something looking stock would have been way better. Something, you know, white walls would have looked awesome on this thing. They're just stupid, but awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is the, the wrong kind of stupid to be awesome. These, these look like they came on the car, though. Like, because yeah. the car was so Hideous. whatever. It came with a, 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 like a mesh kind of wheel, almost like, yeah, a, like a fake BBS probably. kind of it thing. May, and it That's, may have been caps. Who knows? It um, might have been. <laughs> so what was your bid? Your I said 15, 15 which yeah. is all the money for one of these. But I mean, this this seems to tick all the boxes. Is Michael Deeb correct? Now is the time Where's to your, put your bid in right your now. Bid, I know I'm getting there, but I'm letting Come these on. guys play along with us. If you're better at, at this than us, Let's find out. Put your bid in right now, and then you'll find out after the break how much this car will actually sell for. I think this thing, um, I th I think you're spot on. I think I'm going to go under. I'm going to say 14. All right. Um, At least because we're in the same ballpark. Kind of interesting. Um, I don't want it, but somebody does. Somebody uh, we'll does. We'll find out right after. Radwood this. Gold. Okay, guys, I want to tell you about Vegas Auto Fest. The drivers are coming. This is one of our big sponsors. It's the biggest car show of the year in Las Vegas. It's one of the coolest car shows you can possibly experience anywhere. If you haven't made plans to be part of Vegas Auto Fest on September 17th, then do it now. Go to VegasAutoFest.com and register your car. You think you're a car enthusiast? Doesn't matter where you live, plan a trip to Vegas, on September 17th and come out and see this show. It's like Monterey Car Week all in a day. Have you ever been to the Quail? Have you ever been to Works Reunion? Have you ever been to Amelia Island? All those car shows are amazing and great. Have you been to Luftkult? Sure, but Vegas Auto Fest is something special. Make a plan for September 17th. We'll see you in Vegas. All right, welcome back to Bid Nerds. <laughs> the most interesting car of the day we are talking about shit car week apparently we have reviewed <laughs> some really crappy cars uh Dogs. this might be the worst batch of cars that we've talked about uh consecutively in a while um I, so i don't know maybe we need to change our slogan the the most shit box car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites what do you think michael deep should we change it up maybe we maybe we could use the rest of this episode for you to advertise you're looking for a new partner <laughs> <laughs> there you go guys send your resume that i won't read um the the, the job pays really really well and by really really mm -hmm. well i mean it doesn't pay at all uh yep. you know i i don't even think you could afford to buy this crap box LeBaron oh, no. uh on our bid nerd salary michael deep what happened with this auction now that we're it in the sold. future and we're here looking at it, it I, did it sold okay yeah, somebody bought yeah, this thing. Yeah, it was it was no reserve right from your backyard in Boulder City, which mm. I think is where you got the original LeBron yeah. uh, with a manual that you made off of. I don't know why you're clowning on this car. I really thought that the turbo bright red manual that the car was going to sell for some money. It's got the soft top and the hard top. I went big AP. I said $15,000 for sure is going to take this thing home. 
You'd pick the under at 14, uh, but you were skeptical at that number because you didn't think it was going to do so well. So you really did win this. Our car sold for just $9,200. I think when we were looking at it, AP, it was only at eight grand. So that means after we covered it, only made another 1200 bucks at the close of auction on Bring a Trailer. So if Bring a Trailer can't even get 10 grand for arguably the nicest one of these things still in existence, that tells you how worthless this model car is i mean this whole it, it's almost intended of the entire partnership between fiat and chrysler so anyway there it is in a nutshell this uh beautiful example is worth nothing it'd be you better off melting it into a boat anchor and throwing it into lake oh man i look i absolutely hate this car for one reason and one reason only, and it's the wheels. Yeah. Like I, it's yeah, it's a piece of junk. And look at that interior. Yeah. That's just so goofy. But there's a kitschiness to this car that should be fun. There should be yeah. something about this car. When you look at this car, you should be like, "Oh man, that is so rad. That is so awesome. It's so hideously ugly, but uh, I want to play this game. I want to get my yacht rock on and drive this thing around." But then, <laughs> but what's ruining it is the wheels, man. If you had the stock wheels or something that weren't chrome or something. I know that these are period correct, but they're just everything. I, I know that everything about this car is wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Okay. So this is like, you know Madden. how there's hipsters and then there's old guys <laughs> who dress like hipsters. <laughs> that's this where's car your, right where, it's like where, where, you're, where's your dad hat <laughs> you can only drive this car ironically which means you yeah. have to be a young person driving this thing around um if you're an old guy driving this around everyone will think you're serious and that you actually <laughs> like it it's like one of those yes. dickheads driving a corvette around that's so proud of it it's like all right if it's a young person uh, whatever that's cool they're driving their dad's corvette uh but if it's an old person sorry you're not cool uh you had a choice you could have picked something else and with 10 grand i think you could have picked something else too but not really that much these days i mean 10 grand doesn't get you a whole lot anymore uh, uh it certainly doesn't get you something as hipster as this change the damn wheels to something that aren't chrome uh you know put some white walls i mean like steel <laughs> wheels with with spoke hubcaps would be dope on this thing right it would yeah. look almost the same but it would be completely different because it would be like yeah this is Oh man, Maserati, man, Maserati and Chrysler and Chrysler and Fiat, all the things that are wrong with the world. Uh, there are <laughs> there are two great tastes that taste great together. This is kind of like uh, nah. putting peanut butter together with petroleum jelly. I mean, this is just <laughs> that is not going to make a good sandwich. You're going to be sick after consuming that. Uh, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments Pe below. Isn't peanut butter and petroleum jelly the uh, recipe for ayahuasca? You're the guy that just got back from Burning Man. You tell me. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let's do better on cars next week. I think we're, we've For got a sure. really cool we're lineup cool of cars. Um, and uh, you guys, it really is fun when you play along. We really do appreciate uh, you guys watching the show and hanging out with us every day. Make sure you hit the subscribe, like, and notification button if you haven't already. I know most of you have. But, hey, there's some people. We look at, the, we look at how many people are watching the show. We can tell that there's a big bunch of people that aren't subscribing they're watching but not subscribing come on man help out the nerds you know you're a nerd if you're watching the show you need to spread the word you need to share a nerd grow the herd be a part of the nerd herd uh we really do want you guys to share these videos because it really does help us out a lot and we really do appreciate you watching michael deeb anything you want to say before the weekend i'm sorry i missed Too you bad. at auto Get those words!